Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I welcome every one of us to today's Thursday Revival Hour in Jesus' name. Amen. And my prayer is that you are going to benefit maximally even this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Those things that have been hindering our progress that is telling us that we will not possess our possession. We dealt with, with it last Sunday and the final blow will come upon them even this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you very much this morning. Grateful unto you for another opportunity, another privilege you have given unto us today to gather together as we are now in our respective houses. To, to, to still hear from you, to know your mind concerning our lives, our families, our progress in life. Father, accept our praises today in Jesus' name. Amen. Mighty Father, I pray today when we will call upon you concerning this generational cause that has been hindering us, preventing us from making progress in life, from, 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 from uh, possessing our possessions in life. Father, I pray today will be the final blow against this, this generational cause in our lives and our families in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Because I know you have answered us. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So once again, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Like I've said in the course of praying, I said today, the last blow against generational cause in our lives will come our way today. Amen. We started the message last Sunday and I told us that we will, we will continue this morning. Why? Because God wants to do something, especially the year 2020 has, has, has gotten to half already. So the remaining half of this year, we must have testimony. And that is why we look at bitterness of, of generational cause. And it's going to be part two. We remember on Sunday, we took our test from Genesis 49 and we read verses 1 to seven. But today there are certain things that we want us to know concerning generational cause. It has no age limit. Remember, Moses was approaching 120 when the things passed. Not only that, it has no respect. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been a man like Moses that this generational cause we, we, we act against. Another thing I want us to know is this. Generational cause has that characteristics of dormancy. That is, in your life, it will remain there. That, that cause will remain there until when there is environment, when there is an avenue for it to rear its ugly head. So last Sunday, I told us how Moses was born into an accursed family or lineage. That's lineage of Levi. And remember, Levi was caused as a result of cruelty and anger. And not him alone, the two of them, that's Simeon and Levi. Both of them were caused as a result of their cruelty and anger demonstrated 
and shaking. How? Mal. By killing all the men in the city. Why did they do this? Because Dinah, their, their, their sister, was defiled by shaking. I also I, I told us as well that in Obadiah 17 that your holiness will give you heaven. But for you to possess your possession, you need deliverance. And but we need to balance the two. Balance the two in the sense that as you possess your possession here or not, so also you will make heaven. The man Moses. We know him, we have heard a lot about him. He was a righteous man, he was holy and obedient to all the commandments of God. In fact, he's the only, he's the only man, is the only one Bible recorded that he spoke mouth to mouth with God Almighty. Now, but what happened to him? Why didn't he get to the promised land? Psalm 11. Psalm, the book of Psalms, chapter, chapter 11, and verse 3. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? He was righteous, he was a righteous man, holy man, obedient to the word of God. But here is his foundation that has been destroyed long time ago. And if Moses knew this, why not? This is somebody, you know, spoken uh, 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 mouth to mouth with God. He would have sought the face of God for that deliverance. But alas, do you know your own foundation? Whether it's been destroyed, whether it's faulty, like it's like when I first when I came to this church, and then Daddy, we were praying together one day, and at the end of the prayer session. That he said, God has destroyed 21 uh, is it causes of problems or, or battle in my life. Ew. I look at that and I said, 21. It means I'm a, I've been a dead man all this while. But I'm coming from a church that, that, that preaches holiness, righteousness, and purity of life. So, and by the grace of God, I've been trying my best in, the, in, in living a life that will be pleasing unto the Lord. How can I be carrying about 21 battles? I surrender my life. Then when I had this, I say, oh, <laughs> there is something to, to be dealt with in my life so that I can possess my possession. And I obey implicitly that I need to pray I need to seek deliverance, which I did. But majority of us, we don't believe in this. And that is where the problem lies. That is why we look at the man of God as 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 as, as doesn't know what he's doing or is not telling the truth. When he will tell us, oh, my friend, you have to pray this way, pray this way, pray that way. We look at him and say, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have time for that. More so, 
Am I not a holy man? Am I not a holy woman? I'm coming from a, a, a large congregation, a, a church of a large congregation. I'm coming from a church that is preaching holiness. How can you say I need deliverance? And we will flout that order, that instruction. And here we are today. And if you look at this this course upon upon Levi then and Moses came from that lineage, he, he grew up, Moses grew up in the in, in Pharaoh's palace. You remember how Pharaoh's daughter adopted him and uh, he grew up there and there was a day he came out and saw an Hebrew uh, young man fighting with another Egyptian young man. What did he do? That thing reverberated. He killed the Egyptian. So that is it. That's why I say a generational cause has that characteristics of dormancy. If there is nothing to invoke it, to evoke it, it will, it will be there. If you look at if you look at um, Exodus chapter two. Exodus chapter two. If you read verses eleven and twelve. He said, and it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown that he went out into unto his brethren and looked on their and looked on their bodies. You know they were in bondage that time, and he, he and and he fled an Egyptian and he spied an Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren, and he looked this way and that way. And when he saw that there was no man, but there was God, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Can you imagine? Is that what is happening today? He killed the man. And he thought nobody will know. But God knew and he still knows till today. Of every evil you are doing anywhere except it's not under the sun. I didn't know that he was exposed. In verse, in verse 13, that's the second day. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrews strove together. And he said to, to and he said to him that did the wrong. Wherefore smitest thou? thy fellow. Ah, look at verse 14 and he said, who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Intendest thou to kill me as thou killest the Egyptian? Ah, nothing is hidden under the sun. And Moses feared and said, surely this thing is known. So the evils you are doing against your wife, against your husband, against your children, against God, against the church of the living God, God knows. So if you think all oh, what you are doing they are all hidden in the sight of the Lord. It's a mistake. When Cain killed Abel, 
Was he hidden in the sight of the Lord? And God saw what has happened. And God was challenging Cain. Where's your brother? Oh. And look at the reply of Cain. Am I my brother's keeper? That is the problem today with us. When we have problem, when we when we do evil and you are being challenged, so that you can repent and turn to the Lord, so that you will not go to hell, you you start to to, to challenge that person. Say, what, what, what do you mean? You ask, start to ask questions. Am I like this? Am I that? Why are you asking me that type of a question? God knows, and we judge accordingly. As ministers of God, as leaders in the church, our own is to challenge you. So that you can be corrected and lead aright. But if you say no, Oh, it means we are waiting for God's judgment. Look at here when he kidnapped. God sent Nathan to, 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 to challenge David. Sorry. Ahab, Ahab, when David killed, I mean, when Ahab kidnapped, God sent Nathan to challenge um, uh, when David killed Uriah. Nathan was sent to him. Challenge, thank God for David. Say, oh, I've sinned against God. The same thing. When Ahab with uh, Jezebel, his wife, strategized to kill Nabu, the same thing happened. God's messenger was sent to Ahab. And Ahab was sober. And God said, okay, you can see, 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 see how humble Ahab has become. He, 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 has, he has repented, he regretted. Okay, what I will do is this. I will not bring the evil in his days, but in the, in, the, in, the, in the time of, in the life of his own children, you don't know whether your parents have committed a similar offense, evil, either in the church, the community, anywhere. And God has, and you repented. And God says, okay, you have repented, but upon your children. So God will have forgiven even our forefathers, but said upon your, and you are the children today. So all we need to do is to repent of every sin in our lives. It could be as a generational cause. Repent. Seek the face of God for deliverance, and He will, 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 will forgive you. We abundantly pardon once you decide to repent, and it shall be well with you. Eventually, Moses was called and commissioned. To the ministry of God, to lead the children of God out of the Egyptian bondage to the Promised Land, and the man Moses is suffered for the children of Israel. He led them through the Red Sea. He led them through the wilderness. He led them to see God's miracles in their lives. He saw manna from heaven for that long period of years. What about pillars of cloud in the day? Pillars of light in the night. What about water coming out of the rock? 
So Moses led them diligently. And in accordance with the instruction of God Almighty. Even there was a time when God, when the children of Israel, when they went to to to, to idolatry, when they murmur against Moses, against you see, when you are murmuring against the servant of God, you are murmuring against God Almighty. God said, let me wipe away this generation. I will give you another one. Uh, Moses, Moses pleaded with God. God, don't do this. They will say you took them out of out of Egypt and, and you, you, you know you wouldn't take them to the promised land. That is why you wasted them in the in the wilderness. If that if you if you I'm pleading with you, if you are not ready, then you can remove my name from your book or you can even destroy me instead of them. Moses suffered. He, he, he did the job sacrificial, sa sacrificially. He did it committedly. Look at Numbers chapter 12. Numbers 12. If we, if we read from verse 6. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you. That is when the, his family. So you can see. His family. His family. His family. The core of the family, when and and when that's when Moses was challenged and say, "Oh, are you the only one? You you, you marry a, a Ethiopian woman? Why should you do that?" They are judging, and he said, "Hear now my words." That's God Almighty. Let's let's quickly read verse seven. He said, "My servant Moses is not so. My servant Moses is not so. Who is faithful in all my house?" Look at verse 8. He said, With him, will I speak mouth to mouth? So what are we saying this morning? Look at verse 3 of the same Numbers chapter 12. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. Now here we are. Look at the comment of God regarding Moses. Even when Miriam spoke evil, and God was defending Moses because of his faithfulness in the work committed into his hand. So, as you will have been called to the service of God, be faithful. Be diligent. In that same book, Exodus 12. If you see when Miriam spoke evil, just like I said earlier, against Moses, and anger of God was kindled against Miriam. Miriam, is, she was as old as being uh, uh, Moses' mother. If we want to say it, as soon as you come to the world, you give back. Because remember, when Moses was discovered by Pharaoh's daughter, she was the one that came out and said, oh, Pharaoh's daughter, can I go and call an Hebrew woman to take care of this, this child for you? She was the one. So, Miriam was older than Moses. But, so, I'm older than him. 
I'm richer than him. I can do things better than he is doing. Hey. Miriam, senior, to but when Miriam spoke evil against Moses, God dealt with, with, with Miriam. With what? With leprosy. What happened? As soon as she spoke the word, Miriam became leprous. What about Data and Koran and Abiram? Look at, look at how they were judged. The land just cave under them and grant swallow them up. On usual death. You will not die on usual death. Mm. And it shall be well with you, it shall be well with me. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, what are we saying? Stop speaking evil. Again, look at truly Moses married an Ethiopian woman. But he, he, don't let me say he, come, he did what they were criticizing. Now, how much more? Somebody that didn't do anything and you are accusing him wrongly, you are accusing her wrongly, is the one that did this, is the one that did that, and therefore this, this, this and that and that. You are, you, 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 are, you, are, you are adding to the problem you are carrying by all these evil sayings. So therefore, look at how God defended Moses. Look at God's recommendation of Moses. Should it be this type of a man that will not possess his possessions, should not get to the promised land? He couldn't get to the promised land. Why? Because of his, because of his forefather's anger. And cruelty caused by their father. Remember, I said generational cause has that characteristics of dormancy. Look at how God called Moses. How, see how he was doing. See how old was he at that time. But as soon as Moses demonstrated that anger caused by, by, by Jacob, that, that in the life of Levi, that is his is forefather. What happened? The cause it is like he, he, he invoked that cause upon himself. Look at it in Numbers chapter 20. Numbers 20. If we read um, verses 1 through to 5. I will just read from here. The Yoruba should follow us. Then came the children of Israel, leaving their whole congregation into the desert of Zin in the first month, and the people abode in Kadesh, and Miriam died there. Well, uh, that Miriam died in the course in their journey. And there was no water for the congregation, and they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron. And the people choked with Moses and spake, saying, Will God, will God that we, we, will God that we had died when our brethren died before the Lord? Why and why have you brought us, brought up the congregation of the Lord into this wilderness that we and our cattle should die there and where and where have you made us to come up out of out of egypt why should you bring us out of egypt 
look, look at what is happening. There is no water for us to, 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 to drink. Who are you? They were, they were, they were, they were, they were challenging Moses. Wrong. They forgot that God led them to this point, and God that did this led them to this point. Wouldn't He do the remaining that they need? And and look at verse seven. When God saw, because if something was not done immediately, they can stone Moses. And in verse seven, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, "Take the rod." Gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother. Now, watch this passage. This verse 7, very, very well. I mean, this verse 8, very, very well. Take thy rod. Go with your, with your brother Aaron and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. And he shall give forth his water. And thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock. So thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink. Speak. Now, but remember their behavior towards, towards, towards Moses and Aaron. How, how they were shouting on him. How they were accusing him. Even wanting to stone him. And verse 10. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, out of anger. He spoke evil against the children of God. He said, Rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? Is it the one that... that It always, it always, it always grieves my heart. And it, it, it also makes me to look inward. You can see in verse, in verse 12 now. Because you remember Jacob calls the anger and currency now. Moses demonstrated this anger at what age? At what level? So what are we now saying? It means the closer you are to you, you to, to, to the closer you are to God, the closer you are. To genuine men of God, the more careful you need to be. You don't allow that familiarity to rob you of your blessings. Now, bitterness of congregational cause. Generous, I mean, yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 3. Deuteronomy chapter 3. Verse 23. Oh, when Moses had this judgment pronounced upon him, he shivered. And look at verse 23. He's reporting himself now. He said, and I besought the Lord at this time, saying, O Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness 
and thy mighty arm. For what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to the works that you have done, that have witnessed, that you have used me for, and according to thy mighty and to thy might. And I pray thee, bitterness of the national cause, I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that that goodly mountain and, and, and Lebanon was the reply of God, but, but, but the Lord was wrought with him for your sake. That is for the children of Israel's sake. God was wrought with Moses and would not hear me. God, God just refused to hear me. And the Lord said unto me, Let me suffice, su suffice thee. Speak no more unto me of this matter. Bitterness of the generational cause. Moses pleaded. Moses baby. But it's too late. Then God now look at him and say, Well, you have reminded me of all I've done, but the only thing I can do for you is this. In okay. verse 27, get thee up into the top of Pisgah and lift up thy eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward and behold it with thy eyes, for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. Bitterness of generational cups. But we thank God he made heaven. But what about how happy will Moses how 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 happy will he have been getting to the promised land with these people he's been leading for how many years? What joy will that be in that day in his heart? But the narration of course hindered him. I told us Moses was holy, was pure, was righteous, he made heaven. But for him to possess that possession on earth, he failed. So remain holy. Book of the Bible. That's Jude verse 9. That's only one chapter. Yet, Michael the archangel when contending with the devil. Because when Moses died, because of that sin, devil came up and said, no, it's our property. Moses is our, is a, can't you see what he did? Can't you see how he fell? It's our property. But thank God, that archangel, he went there, he rebuked them and took away the cause of Moses. Yet Michael the archangel when contending with the devil he disputed about the body of Moses does not bring against him a railing accusation for sin. That's angel. He didn't, he didn't argue with them. He just said, he just said that's what he said. But said, the Lord rebuked thee. And devil, they have no choice but to, to, to leave the body of Moses. Even, even the, the, the children of Israel, none of them knew to today where Moses was. It's God himself that buried Moses. I told us Moses made heaven. In Matthew 17, before we pray. Matthew 17. In verse 4. That's at the month of transfiguration. And and um in verse 4, let me, you can read from verse 1. 
Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for who, one for Moses, and one for, for Elias, that's Elijah. So, he made heaven. You will make heaven. Generational cause will not have dominion over your life. Amen. Amen. Will not have dominion over your family. Amen. Over your future. Amen. Over your destiny. Amen. It's a serious thing. So, look in world today. The areas where you need deliverance. Call upon the Lord. As you will be led to pray. Just follow. And today, that deliverance will come. Amen. And you will possess your possession. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. So let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Look at yourself. Are you saying? You born again? If not, why can't you see the face of God this morning to save you, to forgive you, to pardon you? And now that that deliverance should come upon you so that you can possess your possession. Call upon him now. Talk to God, talk to God. Today is the day of salvation. What the Lord wants to do this morning is great. But he will not be able to do it. He will be handicapped concerning your case if you have not surrendered your life to him as your Lord and personal Savior. You know you are there, you are listening to this program, you know you are a sinner. You better confess your sin now. Because what the Lord wants to do this morning is great. Confess your sin to him. Tell him that you are a thief. Tell him that you are a fornicator. Tell him that you are full of immorality. Tell him that you are an hypocrite. Tell him that he should have mercy upon you because there is anger, bitterness, envy locking in your heart. Tell him that you are full of worldliness. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Le monka pazantaka, ma sende ke ye mozo, mozo to ko yaba santaka, ma sende ke ye mozo, mozo to ko yaba santaka, ma sende ke ye mozo, mozo to ko ya. Le monka pa. The Lord wants to save so this morning. As you are talking to the Lord, the Lord is is looking at your heart. If you are really making that confession truly. As many that are making that confession truly, the Lord is writing their name in His book. Thank you, Jesus. Masinde ke ye muzunto ko le muka pa. Masinde ke ye muzu muzunto ko yaba santa ka. Masinde ke ye muzu muzunto ko ya le muka pa. Masinde ke ye muzu muzunto ko yaba santa ka. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -uh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the cleansing that you are doing. Thank you for your reaching out to as many that are opened up their heart to you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That is the first order. As the ministration was going on, the Lord was relating a lot of things to me. He said, all parents this morning that are listening to this program said they should go before him and ask for mercy that whatever I have done or whatever seed that I am sowing that will affect the future of my children that the Lord should have mercy upon them. Every parent should go on their knees now and that make me to remember, uh, to remember the, the, the revelation that the Lord showed me several years ago that I was mobbing the room that I was staying I was the owner of that room I, the, room was, the room was well mobbed and the, 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 the everywhere was clean and suddenly my mother just came around 
And he was just walking in the room. But the the print of, of, of our leg. Ma all the cleaning exercises that I've done earlier. When I woke up from that dream, the Lord was now telling me the interpretation of that dream. I reached out to my mom and I said, This, 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 you have to do some restitution in this certain area. And thank God that the Lord took control. So there are some things that some parents they have done. That we speak evil, that we hinder what the Lord wants to do in the destiny of their children. Let every parent let them go on their knees now and begin to cry for mercy. That what you have done in the church, even in the church. It will affect the future of your children. You are an elderly man, but you are playing some role that is not good enough in the church and it will affect the future of your children. Plead for mercy now, plead for mercy now, plead for mercy now. Some people did because somebody uh, somebody stayed with them for some while and they matched that person. It will affect the future of their children. There's, there's a particular woman, the way you treated that your housemaid, that your servant, that your maid that was with you, it will affect your children. Better cry for mercy now. Let every parents let them cry for mercy. That whatever I've done, that will affect the future of my children, that will that will that will truncate the great destiny that you have for my children. Lord, have mercy upon me today. The Lord, the Bible says in the book of Psalm 102, verse 30, said the Lord will arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. The said time has come. This is the time of mercy. As for mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The second phase. There are some people they are watching this program now. They, just like what Levi did that affected Moses. And we can see that Moses was the uh, most the, the meekest man on earth at that time. Let nobody this morning assume that is righteous, that he doesn't need this prayer point I want to call now. I've been born again, I'm certified, I don't need all these prayers, all these prayers, I don't need them, they are not by blinker. No! If the foundation be destroyed, the Bible didn't say what can the sinner do, what can the righteous do. He's talking about the righteous. It's a costly assumption for you to think that you don't need this prayer. There are some people, their parents, they are, they are no more now, they are late. But they have done some wicked acts that we cannot begin to mention as the Spirit of God is relating it to me. And they need to cry for mercy. That the Lord will visit their foundation. Our God is Alpha and Omega. Though the parents, they have, they, they have so many generations, they are, they, are, they are no more. But the Lord will visit that foundation and will rectify everything that is faulty there. I remember two ministers of God that used to pray and fast together. And after some time, when they are prayed, the other minister of God will see the answers to his prayer. But the other one, they will not see answers to prayer at all. But thank God for the spirit of the prophet that revealed that that the, 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 the problem behind that uh, situation. 
He said the two of them should go back to their hometown together. When they get to the hometown of the man that used to receive answers to his prayer, everybody welcoming. They were just blessing. Said your parents, they are very nice. They are very. They are men of integrity. They are. They are, they, they, are, they are very affectionate, they, they, they are good, they are loving. Oh, it will be well with you. They were just showering and coming upon him and they were blessing him and pray, praising him. And when they get to the other town of the other man that doesn't receive answers to his prayer after fasting and prayer. When he say, I am Lagbaja or more Lagbaja or more Lakashebe. Ah, they say, Ah, oh, you are lying. The, the, answer, the answer is that, oh, you are still alive. There is no way we get to her that you will prosper. Your, your parents are so wicked. What, what other thing do they need to know that? That is the problem. We want to pray. Lord, visit my family. In your mercy, visit my family. Everything that is a matter of life is a matter of life. Everything that is a matter of life is a matter of life. Everything that is a matter of life is a matter of life. Let everybody pray. Don't, don't let anybody think that is free. Let the righteous pray. Let the righteous Let pray. Because if the foundation be destroyed, the righteous cannot do anything except for cry, to cry for mercy. God have mercy upon me. Visit my foundation. Lord, visit my faulty foundation. Visit my fieldy and forty 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 foundation. A close mouth is a close destiny. Pray that prayer aggressively. Pray it aggressively. Yes, pray, 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 pray. Masinde ke ye mozonto koyaba santaka. Le moka pa santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto koyaba santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto koyaba santaka. Le moka pa santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto koyaba 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 santaka. Le moka pa. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto koyaba santaka. 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 Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto koya. Le moka pa. Masinde ke ye mozonto koyaba santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto koyaba santaka. Le moka pa. Masinde ke ye mozo. Masinde. In Jesus name we pray. One of my uh, my uh, uh, one, one of my boss in the seminary, and he used to share the testimony of how things used to work for him. But he knows that the result, uh, the the reason why things are working for him is because of the uh, 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 sacrificial life that his dad lived when he was a full time minister. There were almost 19 people altogether, if I'm right, living in the mission house at that time. And the man was a full-time minister. And these 19 people, they are not his children. Just adopted them, just to help them. He was go extra mind to make sure that they are well fed. And today, whatever he lays out upon things will just work for him. And whereas there are some people, whatever they lay hands upon like this, it will be tough time. Even for them to have a break, a, a little breakthrough, they will work like an elephant. Yes, 
Voilà. What others are getting at the fraction of an instant, they will labor for years, like Jacob, 20 years, 40 years. Something is fishy, something is 40. I want to come and be there, come on, go program me. I want to be one to go with me, fellow, into details because of our time. If I can't be I want to be one to go with me, I want to share alone. Me one time or the other, oh, they are 31 to take me. There are some people watching this program that their parents, what they have done in the past, that they wage war against ministers of God and is affecting their children right now. It might not be their immediate parents, but in their lineage, people they have waged war against the ministers of God. You want to cry, Lord, your mercy. Visit my PD foundation. Visit my foundation today. And put everything right. Let's turn it to prayer. Masinde ke ye mozonto koyaba santaka. Ah ah. Mas there is there is a particular there is a particular man. The, pa the parent they con they conspire to to lie against a minister of God. So many years ago, the the, the four parents. And it's affecting him seriously today. But the Lord is ready to have mercy upon that particular brother at this moment. And there are many people that belong to one that, that category in one way or the other. I want to look when you the Le moka pa, ma sende ke ye mozo, mozo to koyaba santaka, ma sende ke ye, ma yam mozo, mozo to koyaba, le moka pa, ma sende ke ye mozo, mozo to koyaba santaka, ma sende ke ye mozo, mozo to koyaba santaka, ma sa a, the Lord is doing great things this morning, ma sende ke ye, ma yam mozo to koyaba sende. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord is, there are another categories of people. It's at the early stage of their life that their life has been tampered with. That is the foundation of their life. It's just that there is no time. I will have been mentioning this case as the Lord is relating me to me, but I can only mention few. Some people when they were taking their bath, they have been tamp their destiny have been tampered with. Some people when they were young, when they went to go and stay with a close relation, their destiny have been tampered with. Some people when they are close relation, wicked close relation, when they were greeting them, when they were young, they were just rubbing their idol mother dark belly, belly, and so many things have been wrong. Lord in your mercy. Whatever need the divine divine intervention in my foundation this morning. Lord intervene in your mercy. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Uh, uh, let everybody lay hands upon their head. Let everybody lay hands upon their head. Masinde ke let every man and woman lay hands upon their head. Because the Lord wants to do great restoration this morning. Masinde ke ye mozo mozonto koyaba santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo mozonto koyaba. Ah ah. Arabini ti o ma ni pe inu ma run. Arabini to ri pe inu ma run. Oh man, that is that she normally have stomach pain. Oh, boy, you're too wild, you're too wild. 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 you Oh, Patoni, Wala, ah, Ipile Mikoja, La, Ipile Mikoja, Kaye, Mi, Koni, Yonju, La, Ipile Mikoja, Kaye, Mi, 
Koba tu she O bato ni le Wala yi Mele mi ko Mori pe Olu a fe ki Olu ka lu kuko shi Kwa pa ya koko ni Olu a fe shi shi a fe shi shi a fe shi There is a woman that you have been having since your in your mentally circle. It is because of this foundation about you. The Lord is setting you free now. Let everybody be serious because what the Lord is doing now is great. The Lord is visiting foundation now. Twenty years age long problem. The Lord is taking them away now. Even battles that is beyond your age, the Lord is attending to them now. Oh, Batoni, Wala, Mile, Nicoja, Oh, Batoni, Wala, Mile, Nicoja, Lai, Mile, Nicoja, Masinde, Kaye, Mozo, Goni, Yoju, Ah, Ah. Yes, like we let me call ya. Kaye me, go ni to mo. Oh, batoni le. Wala like we let me call ya. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Ma sende ke ye mo zondo koyaba le mo kapa. Ma sende ke ye mo zo. Nobody can stop him. What he want to do this morning, nothing can stop him. He will do it. He will accomplish it. Ma sende ke ye mo zo. It's you that should cooperate with him. Cooperate with him. Let the righteous cry. Let the righteous cry. Let the righteous cry. Let the righteous cry this morning. Because there is mercy available for the righteous this morning. Let the righteous cry. Cry unto him. Lord, visit my foundation. Visit my foundation. Visit my fieldy and forty foundation. Masinde ke ye mozo mozo to poyaba le mokapa a mass deliverance. Mass deliverance is taking place. Who we'll say deliverance? Who we'll say deliverance? Masinde even battles beyond be beyond beyond decades. Masinde ke masinde ke ye masinde ke ye mozo to poyaba le mokapa masinde ke ye. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There is a there is a the particular person watching this program. I don't know, maybe it's a man or a woman. Only a drug can be a man. The person is saying prayer is not being answered. No, Toma Toma, pray. Oh, the man, the boy, Jesus, she will pray. The person might be praying, saying thank you, Jesus, but right inside the person, he has agreed. You are watching this program now. In your heart, you are concluded that prayer does God doesn't answer prayer anymore. Because you have fasted, marathon, you have done it. Billy, Billy, every kind of prayer you have prayed, all kinds of prayer you have prayed. But it's like the more you pray, the tougher it becomes. If the foundation be destroyed. What can the righteous do? Moses was the meekest man. But his foundation is still locating. But this morning, I have a good news for you, you that particular person. The Lord said it's your foundation that is affecting you. He said he has come in his mercy to say to you this morning. Deliver me, deliver me. Deliver me, O oh Lord, by your mercy, by your power. Deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, O oh Lord, by your mercy, by your power. Deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, O oh Lord. By your mercy, by your power, deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Ah ah yes. Deliver me, O deliverance. Deliver me, O Masinde ke ye mozonto koya le mo kapa zanta kaya mozo mozonto koya ba zanta kaya Masinde ke ye mozo mozonto koya ba zanta kaya Masinde ke ye mozo 
Mozon ton koya ba santa ka. Ma sinde ke ye mozon. Turn it to prayer, turn it to prayer, turn it to prayer. Yes, yes. Yes, that man, that man, the Lord has visited you. That man that is that. Yes. That you say prayer, God doesn't answer prayer anymore. The Lord has said you. Yes, you begin to witness on presidential change in every area of your life. Ma sinde ke ye mozon. Ma sinde ke ye mozon ton koya. Le mot qu'a pas en tant que ma sende que y est mozo, mozo to koya. Le mot qu'a pas, ma sende que y est mozo, mozo to koya ba en tant que ma sende que y est mozo, mozo to koya. Le mot qu'a pas, ma sende que y est mozo, mozo to koya. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I think I've been saying this for some of us that I've been listening to some of the things I share when I do God give me opportunity to minister. I don't believe at all. Some people used to say that something to the sea. And I was told, this is it, oh, wow, we're not going to details. <laughs> I said, this is what you have been, you have been lacking all this while. And right in the depth of the sea, I just brought it out. And I, I look at what I venture into after that time and before that time and there was clear difference and there was manifestation of that answered prayer it was after that time that i had the best result ever in in my pursuit the best result ever in what i pursued and it i know ah so this thing is real there are some people their glory has been taken away from them as a result of their faulty foundation. And when you mean, I give you one word, or you know, one they are just like fake. Some people they are in the wilderness, but they are the, 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 it is their faith that is manifesting physically. They don't want to restore now. That which has been taken away as a result of our faulty foundation. You are going to pray this prayer. Lord, in your mercy, restore unto me every glory that I've been taken away from me. Every treasure that I've been taken away from me. Lord, restore your mercy. Turn me to prayer. Turn me to prayer. My sin de ke ye mo. Bobo ishura tati. Ele ikin she pe biya mo bolori oke o emi lo she lesi. I can say it. Oluwa Oluwa da iko lola in o da pada o de sofu me o do je. Mo de ri ifara o e mo de ri ifara o le i ba e pe to to ye so luwa ngba adura. To ba le ngba adura e da da wa ri ifara o wa ri ifara adura e. Ma sin de ke let every man and woman let them pray let every young man pray. Ma sin de ke ye mozo mozo to ko ya ba Santa ka le mo kapa ma sin de ke ye mozo. Mozon to koyaba santaka, ma sinde ke ye mozo. Mozon to koyaba santaka, le mokapa, ma sinde ke ye mozo. Mozon to koyaba santaka, ma sinde ke ye mozo. Mozon to koyaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Aye ki bobo, biko ba dra fa an homo wan. Let our parents pray for their children. Mori pe an homo first class student, wa nou an homo wa lori oke, ni se esi en time. I can see first class children among their children in CSN time. What I said before, the Lord did not allow me to go in detail to repair me. No wealth. Some of our some of our children they are not living up to their uh, maximum maximum gifts. Yes, one beneath that she won't be left to the Tampa will look on my year. My children is brilliant, but it's not living up to the expectation of the gift that God has bestowed on you. Let our parents pray for their children. All that has been taken away from me. Oh, I need to read that, but I keep going. I'm not going to draft now. My sin de ke ye mozon to ko yaba santaka. My sin de ke ye mozon to ko le moka pa santaka. My sin de ke ye mozo. We go ishere le tati balolo wa mo. My sin de ke kolu ako da pada. Aye ki bobo biko ba draft da da. My sin de ke. Aye ki awa mo na koki be olu a we go ishere le tati balolo wa mi. 
ọpọlọpọ awọn omo yen lo ni ara sinu sugbon ara yen inu lo wa ko le jade nitori ba ti gba ohun to ye ko fi gbe ara yen jade ati gba lo ohun in Jesus name we pray I want to buy fair, Tom Fed Dunk, Corey, she Tom Fed Law, not to Jimmy, my ye, Mofet Con Con in the party and the party. Me for those that want to do something good and they want to go far in life, I want them to sing this song. On to Fafi Miche, Fimi She, O Lua, Arato Fafi Mida, Fimi Da, O Lua, On to Fafi Miche, Fimi She, O Lua, Kaye Mito Koja, Loki Bani Tore Koja. On to fe fi mi she, fi mi she oluwa. Ara to fe fi mi da, fi mi da oluwa. On to fe fi mi she, fi mi she oluwa. Kaye mi to koja lo ki ba mi to re koja. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Then continue to sing. Tell Lord that pada for me. If the Lord have not restored back that thing I mentioned, I will not just believe that I'm an average man. Let me just. Get me number. 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 Don't believe that is your best. Please, please, I beseech you. Spiritually, if you are the best teacher, you are the best evangelist, you are no fatal way or scatter. Don't believe that is your best. Oh, you want to fail for me, she? Ara to fail for me, Danny, no, eh? Oh, you want for me, the only adua, so the adua. In your mercy. Ma sende ke ye mo zonto ko ya. Le mo ka pan zantaka. Ma sende ke ye mo zonto ko ya. Mo zonto ko ya ba santaka. Ma sende ke ye mo zonto ko ya. Le mo ka pan. Ah ah. Ma sende ke. There are some people they have been complacent with the little achievement they have. In the ministry. In their In their career. But because of this prayer, the Lord is taking them to a height they never, they never dreamt of. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ma sinde ke ye mo zonto ko ya. Le mo kapa. Ma sinde ke ye mo zo. Mo zonto ko ya ba santaka. Ma sinde ke ye mo zo. Mo zonto ko ya ba santaka. Ma sinde ke ye mo zo. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to come at all of you want to take a pick of their career. There are some people they think that they have reached the peak of their career. Ah, I'm working in a company where they paid me a month to watering salary. The Lord said, This is not your peak. Because of this prayer you are praying, you will see unprecedented surprise in every area of your life. The Lord has done great and mighty things this morning. If you believe that you are going to live a fulfilled life, and that your foundation will not put your back at the ground, that is your background, you will not put your back on the ground. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to appreciate him. For what the Lord has done this morning. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The Lord has done great and mighty things this morning. The Lord has done great and mighty things this morning. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord has changed many people's head. And he has changed many people's garments. And the, the rod that has been placed on some people, the Lord has removed it and turned it to the cloth. Let's of pray this prayer. For Nigeria. For Nigeria. Especially in the power sector. In fact, we cannot just focus on on a particular sector now. But I don't know. The Lord revealed something to me concerning that power sector today. And we should not forget that the pandemic is still on. 
But that's that, that's why we are going to pray the prayer generally. But we should focus more on that power sector. We should be praying for, for the power sector when we get back home. There are some power that are working against the power sector. Please, when you get back home, pray that prayer concerning the power sector in Nigeria. It's very important. Please, I'm let's pray that prayer very well. Not concerning Nigeria. You are just intervening in your mercy. We need your mercy concerning the concerning the current challenges that we are facing as a nation. Let's turn it to prayer. Let's turn it to prayer. Masinde ke ye mozonto ko ya. Le mo kapaz antaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto ko ya ba santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto ko ya ba santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto ko ya ba santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto ko ya ba santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto ko ya ba santaka. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto ko ya. Masinde ke manya mozo. Mozonto ko. Le mon kapa. Masinde ke ye mozo. Mozonto ko. Le mon kapa. Masinde ke. Masinde ke. Let sinde ke. There shall be divine shaking in the power sector in Nigeria. There shall be divine shaking in that power sector. There shall be divine shaking in that power sector in Nigeria. There shall be divine shaking in that power sector in Nigeria. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you very much. We bless your name today. We are grateful unto you today because of what you have done already, because of what you are doing, because of what you will still do in our lives, in our families, in our foundations, in our businesses. Our Father, we thank you today. Lord, accept our praises in Jesus' name. Amen. We started this prayer since Sunday, and we are concluding today concerning our foundation. Oh, Father in heaven, I pray. You are the one that made us. You are the one that created us. You know us. More than we know ourselves. And I pray in all the areas where we have been carrying loads that we are not supposed to, where we have been carrying causes we are not supposed to. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance today in Jesus' name. Amen. If Moses knew this, hmm. He will have prayed. He will have asked God, God, I will not leave you until you set me free. I will not leave you until you, you, you deliver me. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. I, but he didn't know. Like majority of us didn't know. But we thank God for what you have revealed unto us today. Our Father in heaven, I pray, as a result of these revelations, Lord God Almighty, let there be complete total deliverance for each and every one in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name. Some people, they, 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 like, like the rich man that says, Oh, Father Abraham, send Lazarus back to the earth. I still have five brothers there. Maybe if Lazarus should preach to them, should tell them that say, hey, maybe they will change. But Abraham said, We still have preachers on earth. We still have pastors, we still have prophets, we still have apostles. If your five brothers cannot listen to them, even if I send Lazarus, they will not change. Lord, we are the preachers of today. We are the ministers of today. And we are ministering. Father in heaven unto us now, the grace to abide, the grace to yield, the grace to obey. Lord, to do the needful, give and grant unto each and every listener this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, enough is enough. Enough should be enough. We want to possess our possession. Why still on earth? Well, we are still focusing on heaven. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, all your plan, all your program, all your will for us here on earth. Father, I pray we will possess them in Jesus' name. Amen. Every faulty foundation today 
let them be repaired. Amen. Lord, God, let them be amended. Amen. Oh, Lord, God, let them be refurbished. Amen. In the name of Jesus, so that we can possess our possession in Jesus' name. Amen. As from today, we will move from victory to victory. Amen. As from today, we have faulty foundation, destroy foundation is been hindering us from, from making progress, from making forward. Today, the yoke is broken, the foundation is repaired, and we will make progress in life in Jesus' name. Amen. All the sin, all the limitations, O oh Lord, set hmm. by foundation, by, by generational cause, hmm. hmm. battle in our life today. That sin is removed. Amen. That limitation is destroyed. Amen. Heaven, O oh Lord, evil will not be our limit in Jesus. Amen. Amen. We will move forward. Amen. We will make progress. Amen. And our children, Lord God Almighty, you have a will for them. Hmm. You have a program for their lives. And, and I pray as a result of this morning's prayer, they will be delivered. Amen. They will be set free. Amen. They will fulfill the plan, the program, the will of God for their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. The yokes you are broken today, O Lord, let them remain broken. Amen. The strong goal you have pulled down in our lives and our foundations today, they will never rise again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Because we know you have answered. Yes. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God this morning. And I believe as he has led us since Sunday to today, we will see the manifestation in our lives, in our families, in our progress, in our businesses. We will see the manifestation in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Thursday is another day. Sunday is another day. The same time, the same hour. Our church account details is being displayed now on the screen. Go in there and pay your tithe and offering. And the Lord will continue to bless us. Even when some people's destiny, when some people's blessings are being locked down, pay in your tithe and offering and there will be an open door. Amen. And it shall be well with us. Amen. So I thank every viewer this morning. Go and rejoice in your deliverance. Amen. Until next time, next same time, the same hour, remain blessed. Amen. Lord.